Hi friends, welcome back for another video. I have some exciting stuff to share with you guys today. My channel is Our Thrifty Homeschool. So besides just sharing curriculum, sometimes I'm gonna share some fun things that we've gotten at thrift stores. I love to thrift store shop. And I, I'm so excited when I find a good deal. So we've been in quarantine here for a couple months and everything's been closed and this week some things have started opening up again. So I went and checked out a local thrift store and found some good stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's take a peek. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you, I was super excited about. This was my favorite thing that we found at the store. Um, this year we did Heart of Dakota, um, but we've actually done it the last two years and we really loved it. Um, my oldest did the CTC guide, which is Creation to Christ. And for their history, she did her history completely on her own. And I think I'm going to do a video showing an in-depth look at the um, Heart of Dakota guides and what our thoughts were. But for the history that she did this year, one of the components for these um, What in the World audio CDs for ancient civilizations in the Bible. So... She loved this, and this was she, there's a lot of history components in Heart of Dakota that um, that are involved in that guide, and this was one of the things that she said she actually loved so much, and um, she was so excited about it, and she said that was her favorite part of history. So walking through the store, I found not only this one, so this is volume one. This one is called um, What in the World. I found volume one. True Tales, and then I found Volume 1, Digging Deeper. So the Digging Deeper one is Fascinating Facts and Ancient Secrets from Creation to Christ. This is all Diana Waring is the author. The True Tales is Captivating Events and Biographies um, from Creation to Christ. And then the What in the World one is Amazing Discoveries and Adventures. And so what's so cool about these are it's just the author telling the stories and my daughter said it was so, this was something she listened to on her own and she said it was so interesting and it was so fun to hear all this stuff. Now, these are typically, I looked this up online to see if I got a good deal. I knew I got a good deal, but I looked this up online to see how good of a deal I got. And on Amazon, um, this one little box here with four CDs in it was $21, $21.97 or something like that. Well, guess what? I got this for $1.25. Isn't that amazing? And each of these were also $1.25. That, you can't beat that. That, I was so excited. So I thought this was something even um, as the years go on and we're um, studying, as we're studying ancient times again, we can listen to these in the car as a family or we can listen to them um, as a family and do coloring or projects or whatever we're gonna do. But how fun to find all three of those sets for $1.25 each. That was just like super exciting. So that's the first thing we found. So the second thing I found for, um, well, I found another book for my oldest. I don't know if you've ever heard of these, but they're called Storm Runners, and she just loves these. It's a, just a scholastic book, but anyway, their books were, um, they're normally $4.99 on, like if you buy it from Scholastic, but it was um, 50 cents, I think, so that was a good deal. She was super excited about that. I got for my little guy who's four and just kind of getting the basics of numbers and um, alphabet and stuff. I found an Usborne White Clean First Math. So if you haven't seen these before, it's this like um, plasticky paper that you do, or it's laminated. It's like this laminated paper that you um, use dry erase on it. Tracing your numbers and different math facts and taking one away, it's got subtraction. All this stuff, so fun. Normally these are $7.99 and I got this for 50 cents. That's amazing, I was so excited. He's gonna love it. So that was super exciting. The other thing I got for my little guy, and I'm surprised we don't have this, but when I saw it in the store, the Lorax. Um, we have lots of books that I bought over the years at thrift stores and library sales and things, but I, for some reason, don't have the Lorax yet. So that was really fun. This was just a like a Kohl's, you know when they have the book and the little stuffed animal that they have for sale that go together for $5. So this was $5 at the at Kohl's. That's what this came from. But 
I got it for, um, it was, all these were either 50 cents to a dollar. I think the hardback books might have been 75 cents. So that was really fun. And it's in perfect condition. It's so fun. I read it to him last night and he was really excited. So my next daughter, um, she is just turned seven. This was another one that I was kind of surprised when I saw it in there. I thought, I can't believe we don't have this yet. Mary Poppins. So this is the Walt Disney's Mary Poppins um, storybook favorites. Anyway, it's just a really nice um, hardback book with pretty pictures. And it is also in perfect condition, so that was really exciting. And she was excited to find that. I think this was probably 75 cents too. And then the last book that I got was another one that um, I was surprised that I, I don't know. I guess I think I have all these books and then when I see it in the store, I'm like, oh, I don't have that one yet. So this was another one that, The Wind in the Willows, that I remember from when I was a kid um, and reading and I want my kids to read it because I remember it was really fun. So, and this is such a pretty book. Um, it has, I don't know if you can see, but it's got these like, uh, like torn edges on the paper. If you can see that. So, um, so they, they love the looks of books like that, but this is fun and she was really excited and this was also probably about 75 cents. So that was super fun. So the only other thing I got that um, was homeschool related that I'm gonna share with you was, it was a whole pack, they're all taped together of these little manuscript alphabet cards and then on the back is cursive alphabet cards. It was 50 cents for this whole pack. I didn't count, but there's gotta be 25 at least 25 of these in here. I mean, you'd say, well, what do you need 25 of those cards for? Well, if you've homeschooled for any time at all, at least for me, if you do not actually tape it up on the wall, these will get lost. And I have bought every year that one of my kids has started learning their alphabet. I have ordered one of these little cards, you know, around whether it was this or a little bit bigger. But I've always ordered one of these so they had one for their desk and within the first month I'd say, where's your alphabet card? And it's missing and it, we don't find it again to the end of the year. So for 50 cents for 25 of these, I was really excited. And two of my girls do cursive right now. And even my oldest sometimes forgets how to make letters. So I told her, I'm even gonna give you one of these to keep in your supplies box so that when you are writing and you're thinking, mm, I forgot how to make an F or whatever, look on your card and you got it. So I was excited about that too for 50 cents. Because usually these are probably 50 cents a piece and they're all laminated. They're nicely laminated, so that was really fun. So that was my thrift store find for the day. Um, if you do not thrift store shop, you need to, especially if you're a homeschooler, because it's just amazing what kind of things you can find. Um, I just love it. It's like treasure hunting, and I always find something good. I don't know if I've ever gone, sometimes only a thing or two, but. I don't think I've ever gone to a thrift store and walked out empty handed because there's always a tiny little treasure and you save so much money on things that you would have um, normally spent a lot of money for if you'd ordered it online or from a bookstore or whatever. So go thrift store shopping. But it was fun. We loved it. Um, I loved finding all these things and my kids um, loved ha having me come home and give them gifts and I barely spent anything on these. So that was fun. So I will share some more videos like this. I don't know when I'll get to the thrift store again, but I'll make sure I show you guys when I find cool stuff. So let me know what cool things that you've found lately, and um, I'd love to hear about it. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.